During the course of today, we are going to look at and listen to Martin O'Alley. The job of Social Security Commissioner has been filled by Martin O'Alley. He was presenting a hearing in front of the Senate, so let's listen to what he has to say about Social Security and the strategy for moving forward with it. It was Martin O'Alley. With regard to Social Security, he is in charge. Listening to Martin O'Halley is also a lovely experience. As a lawyer, he is employed. On the other hand, based on how I feel about him, he appears to be a good leader. Is that accurate? Lawmakers are possible to be arranged into groups. A lot of members of Congress have a genuine desire to aid the people of the United States. When it comes to leadership, there are people who aren't really on either side. They are attempting to avoid generating a great deal of noise. Oh no, they don't want to ruin their beautiful gig, if you understand my meaning. In addition, there are legislators who have no intention of taking any action. Their objective is to create a mess. One possibility is that they would prefer to devote all of their time to selling themselves on social media rather than assisting anyone else. The three categories of politicians that I recognize are as follows. This leader has the capacity to accomplish a lot, in my opinion. Let's have a look at a list of two Martin O'Alley movies, shall we? Shall we go? It is my profound gratitude to you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Ranking Member Crapo and the other members of the committee for providing me with the chance to appear in front of you today. In addition, I would like to express my gratitude to Senator and Mr. Chairman for having this hearing regarding our budget. There has been no communication regarding the expenses of Social Security for the past nine years. Having the opportunity to share what I've discovered with you in this room is a privilege. I've been working in this capacity for a total of 90 days. And I must admit that I was pleasantly delighted with the senior executive services need to have a clear leader. They need to put in more effort. I traveled to all nine areas or 16 days in January, and I met folks from all throughout the country. The staff is keen to improve their performance. According to the data, they do feel that they are on a divine mission for each and every one of us. The payroll information interchange, which will be promoted in the near future, is one of the many things that we are now working on. I have gained a lot of knowledge. By July, we anticipate being able to put it to use. And it is believed that the 15 to five year look back will simplify a substantial percentage of the paperwork and wait times involved with the disability program. But I wanted to make sure that you were aware of this right away. In addition to the other documents that I supplied to you, here is one of the lead slides that I presented to you. I've found that Social Security is currently providing aid to a bigger number of people than it ever has before, while having fewer workers than it has in the prior 27 years. Every single day, I am able to observe the symptoms and repercussions of this. This is something that should be kept in mind. And I believe that the temporary commissioner likewise transmitted the same message. Even though there are fewer people working, there are more people getting payments from Social Security. That is a significant issue to examine. When you call the Social Security Administration, it takes 30 minutes or possibly 31 of those minutes to get someone on the phone with you. One reason why call times are 30 minutes is because of this. I also feel that it takes more than 200 days to receive the initial response when you submit a claim for disability benefits. The Social Security Administration faces a huge issue when it comes to retaining workers, attracting new employees, and then retaining the employees they presently have. From what I understand, the he has been talking about this for the past, what, 23 years. Up until today, they have not had adequate staff, but today there are a growing number of them. On a daily basis, I believe that 10,000 new persons submit applications for Social Security benefits. That is a significant number of folks and you do not have sufficient labor. So the position is quite precarious when compared to the amount of money that is spent on payments each year, Social Security's overhead costs are less than 1%. Over the course of the past nine years, this operating overhead has been cut by 20%, which may or may not come as a surprise to you. It did took me by surprise. Companies working in the private sector, such as Allstate, which is also featured on those slides, dedicate around 13% of their yearly expenditures to overhead expenses. Allow me to check, about 22% of the market is dominated by Liberty Mutual and Liberty Biberty, Biberty Biberty. Uh, for the time being, the Social Security Administration ran on 1.2 till the year 2018. Since I've been all over the country, I felt it would be best to share this information with you so that I can make the most of my time here and react to any questions you may have. I am writing to advise you about some of the measures that we are doing to address the most serious concerns that have been brought to our attention in the field of customer service. These difficulties include the excessive wait periods on the 800 number, the amount of time it takes to assist persons with disabilities, and the unfair overpayments. We have recruited a new team and we are hoping to launch Securistat within the next 30 days. It is called Securistat and it is our new approach of dealing with success. Every two weeks, every two weeks is the frequency that is maintained. The theme of all eight of the talks was same, not just the choices on the 800 number and disability, but also a glorious hour on fraud information on how to prevent fraud and the presence of OAGs at the table as we seek to get right in front of those who commit fraud. A single hour has been set aside particularly for the goal of minimizing the number of initial choices about impairment. We have one simply for the purpose of giving warnings. On notes that look to be old-fashioned mad libs are transmitted, but in reality they were created by insane lawyers over the course of time. It is also impossible for us to impose responsibility on our seniors or anyone else who receives the letter and is unable to interpret it. 
Uh, the only thing that makes sense with relation to some of our warnings is that you should call our 1800 number and wait for 39 minutes if you are unable to comprehend it. All of these are the things that we take into consideration in Securistat. And finally, but certainly not least, I will examine overpayments and underpayments, which are the themes that will be presented in one of these sessions. A good number of us watched the episode of 60 Minutes that was about Americans who received one of these notices that were difficult to read but did not reply to it. After some time had gone, they realized that Social Security was taking 100% of their monthly benefits unless they paid back the excess amount. When we hear these stories, we are all taken aback because they run opposite to our sense of what is reasonable and fair. Therefore, I will be adding some fresh enhancements in that particular area today. The majority of these adjustments were proposed by our frontline personnel, as well as a very clever woman by the name of Leanne Stever, who has supported us in evaluating what is truly taking on and locating the facts behind the matter. At this point, we are not going to take away 100% of the advantages when people do not call us to work out a plan for overpaying. In its place, we are going to lower the amount by only 10% as we have already done with Title 16 Supplemental Security Income. Secondly, we are not going to hold the claimant liable for establishing that they were not at fault. These are the actions that will be taken instead. The government, on the other hand, will need to increase its ability to detect grounds of dispute. Third, we will allow you to set payment plans that extend for a period of up to 60 months. Previously, we only permitted individuals to make payments of up to $36. At the VIA, they performed 60. In addition, we are going to do 60 presently. Finally, we will make it straightforward for beneficiaries who have been overpaid to request that they be revoked without any more fuss. As a summary, we have learned a tremendous deal.